Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's video is a Tester Tuesday first impression on a brand, Jane Cosmetics. So you can find all of these Jane Cosmetics products on their website that I'm testing out today. So this is a foundation review, but I also have some other products I'm testing out. I will be testing out the True Believer Perfecting Matte Foundation, the Jane Cosmetics Eye Primer, this eyeshadow palette in Natural Beauty. I have an liquid eyeliner. I also have a mascara, a bronzer, and a multicolored illuminating powder as well. With all of my first impression Tester Tuesday videos, I show you how I apply it using my Ultra HD vlog camera. You're going to see my skin texture, how the product wears. If you want to see how everything applies, how it wears throughout the day with my final thoughts at the end of the day, then just keep on watching. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and turn on that notification button because I upload five videos a week, every Sunday through Thursday, and let's get started. I am prepping my skin with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is brand new, and actually, if you're watching this video when it goes live, um, Milk Makeup is doing a flash sale, so you guys can get your hands on this before it launches in stores for today only, which is Tuesday, January 3rd. I will have that link and information in the description box if you are interested. I am testing this out for Makeup Bag Monday, but I've been loving it because it is silicone free, petrochemical free, and vegan. These are the foundations. It's called the True Believer Perfecting Matte Foundation, and I'm going to try light medium, one fluid ounce. This is a perfecting matte foundation it is oil free medium to full coverage perfects skin with natural matte finish fortifies skin with vitamin C and E and amino acids I'm going to apply it. Let's do the left side of my face Might be too light Maybe I should have color swatched this first I don't... No, I think that's a good color I'm going to use an affordable brush since Jane Cosmetics is relatively affordable. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I love for foundation. I'm quite impressed with the coverage. It looks really nice. Um, it's a little bit light maybe for my skin tone right now, but not awful. And my matte finish, not super ultra matte. Doesn't make me feel super heavy, but I like it. Um, I'm going to go in with the right side of my face now you can definitely see the difference I might actually try and mix medium tan with light medium that doesn't look that tan let's use medium tan on the side of my face I think medium tan is definitely a better coverage match for me but then it's kind of showing a little bit more of my redness so I'm gonna go in with light medium to maybe counteract it because I think light medium is a little more yellow but also a lot paler. And then I'm gonna go in with medium tan over on the left side of my face so I don't look super pale. The finish kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Um, even though when you kind of squeeze this out, it's a little bit more of a moussey texture, but the finish on my skin definitely reminds me of the Urban Decay All Nighter. Showing you super close up. Like you can definitely see my skin texture. I do have somewhat like dried skin and I do have texture because this is ultra HD. It's not like super smoothing. Like you can see it's kind of dry right here so it's not looking the best on my forehead. I even used a hydrating mask this morning but it's just how my skin is. I'm back, my brows are done, and I did use my under eye concealer, which currently is my Jouer one. Set my face a little bit with just a tiny little bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder. Just dabbed a little bit on this brush from Real Techniques and just kind of went like that to make sure it's fair for the foundation. I'm testing out the Jane Cosmetics eye primer. The primer reminds me a lot of either the Too Faced or the Urban Decay ones. Immediately, right off the bat, the texture, the coloring, everything, the formulation reminds me of that. My eyeshadow palette is also from Jane Cosmetics. This is the Natural Beauty eyeshadow palette, and you get four different shades. You get a nice large base shade and then three very neutral browns. Whenever I use an eyeshadow primer like that, I'm going to go in with this vanilla shade. My Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, but my eyes are pretty small so I use this to pat on 
the vanilla shade which is a nice way to set your eyeshadow primer but also this helps the other colors show up a little bit more and makes it easier for you to blend the shadows i'm going to take this morphe m433 brush it's essentially a mac 217 i'm going to take this spire bronzing powder and i'm going to put this in my crease i want something a little bit more matte Ooh, this is nice and smooth i really like this bronzer formula then i'm going in with my milani crease brush and i'm going to use this center shade in the crease to carve it out a little bit more and i'm going to take this champagne shade and put it all over my lid step i'm going to test out this liquid eyeliner it is called their water resistant liquid eyeliner in black That was pretty smooth. I like how black that is. Okay, this eyeliner is like super matte when it dries down and it's like black and I'm really impressed. I really like this eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with this mascara. Look how pretty this mascara packaging is. This is their Blashed All-in-One Mascara. Ooh, this wand is like intense. I'm not a big fan of this mascara. Very, very dry formula. I don't feel like it did anything for my lashes. It's not very volumizing and it's not very lengthening either. It just kind of like, mm. I'm actually gonna just put in my accent lashes because I have other videos to film and I don't really like what the mascara did. I'm going in with Spire Bronzer. I'm going to warm up my face a little bit. This is the Morphe E4 brush. I really love this bronzer. It's so soft and like buttery. And I'm gonna go in with this is their multicolored illuminating powder. What's this color. Focusing on this shade, I'm gonna wear it as a blush. My highlight, I'm gonna focus on the lighter shades right here. Skin's really dry, so I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus to kind of set everything and make it look a little less powdery. And I have the Beach Babe lipstick. It's my pout lipstick from Jane. Packaging is just so cute. It's all cardboard, but it's very, very cute. Oh, that's pigmented. I'm really impressed with how pigmented this lipstick is. I should have used a lip liner. Grabbing a lip liner, this is just a Makeup Forever one in number 41. I really like that lipstick. The lipstick's really comfortable. It's really creamy and pigmented when you apply it, but then once you kind of like set it and keep it in the lip line, it looks really good. But I will check in in a little bit. It's currently 12 p.m., so right around lunchtime, and I'll check in in a few more hours. Okay, I'm going to show you guys right standing in front of my window what this looks like because I think it looks so much better right here next to my window with the blinds down. And you can see the bronzer a little bit more, not like majorly. I mean, I have such a weird dry patch right here, so it's kind of like sticking right there. Um, but the lipstick looks really good. Eye makeup looks good. So that's what it looks like. See you in a few hours. Okay, guys, it is, what time is it? Three o'clock. It is three o'clock. I've had this on for three hours. And I have to say the lipstick looks good. I haven't, I drank out of a bottle of water, but I haven't had any food. I'm about to eat lunch right now. That's why I'm, I'm checking in. Foundation looks good. Um, I'm a little itchy right here. So I've been scratching. Oh, did I just get lipstick all over my face? Good, but it looks better in person. Love the eye makeup. Love it. This, this eyeliner is like everything for me right now okay i'm gonna eat lunch that's what my face looks like hmm. hey guys it's 4 10 so i've had this on for four hours and 10 minutes but i wanted to do a check-in because i just had broccoli cheddar soup sourdough toast and a cup of coffee and water from a water bottle and this lipstick looks really good after all that i also wanted to say i'm liking how the foundation is looking as it's wearing because i feel like it's starting to look a little bit less like flat and more pretty 
looks more like me i really like it um there is studio lights right now but so i'll just show you my lighting situation so that's that stuff you can still see my texture eye makeup's holding well still really impressed with this lipstick and it's not drying whatsoever hey guys it is 6.36, so I've had everything on for 6 hours and 36 minutes, um, but I'm going to go to Bar Method in a bit, so I'm going to take a little bit of this craziness off so that I don't look too crazy. This is just with the ring light. It looks awful. I'm going to take my lashes off, and then you're going to see the eyeliner kind of look all gappy and weird, but... I am going to fill it in but you can see like the eyeliner isn't wearing off it's just where the glue kind of like gapped yeah I just need to fill in the gap like right there so all I did was fill in where the glue had ripped off a little bit of the eyeliner and I feel like the eye makeup is still looking really really good the foundation still looks good it is kind of doing this weird thing in between my nose that I'm not crazy about but it always happens when I have anything that's like a matte or medium coverage so what I'm gonna do is grab a brush and kind of like got got to it it's everything else looks good my lip color is still there even though it's like worn off I'm not gonna retouch it because it's like I'm already looking a little intense to go work out but I just want to show you guys what I'm doing before I head to my class in about 40 minutes. Hey guys, it is now 9 p.m. and I just walked back from my bar method class. So this is my final check-in and after a really hard class, I was actually quite sweaty because I was wearing a long sleeve shirt and um, it was a really hard class. So I have to say my favorite, favorite thing out of everything I tested today is the eye stuff. So specifically the eyeliner. This eyeliner is just phenomenal. It did not transfer into my crease no matter how sweaty I got. It just is super matte and really, really like fluid. It definitely takes a little practice. Like the first eye was a little wonky, but then once I figured out how that brush works, so good. Obsessed with this eyeliner. Like it's so matte black and so strong. Like I love it and it lasts so well. The eyeshadows were beautiful. They don't swatch as beautifully as they apply. I feel like when I swatch them, they don't look as good as they are on my eyes. The eyeshadow primer did a great job because my eyeshadow did not budge, and I think it's a more affordable option if you're looking for something like the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer potion or the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It comes in a little squeezy tube, so it's very similar application and texture, finish, and longevity is very similar. So it's a great option if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable. Eyeliner's the bomb. Like, I don't care how expensive this eyeliner is. I love it. The foundation, I have to say, is very, very similar to the Urban Decay All Nighter in terms of the finish on my skin. I have to be 100% honest, it's not my favorite finish for my skin texture and skin concern needs. I feel like it's a little too mattifying and a little, um, it takes away from what my skin looks like, so it kind of diminishes the natural glow, but that is what this foundation is supposed to do. It's more of a matte finish, so in that sense, you are getting what it's saying you're getting, so if you wanted something that is more mattifying, if you're super, super oily and your skin just eats up foundation and you want something a little more mattifying but still looks like skin, then I I would recommend testing out this foundation. So I would recommend testing out this foundation as an affordable option to the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now I don't know that it's quite as long lasting as the Urban Decay All Nighter. I mean it's still on my face, it's still covering, it's still doing a decent job. I just think maybe the Urban Decay one might be a little bit more full coverage immediately and a little bit longer lasting. but. I mean, I've had this on for nine hours and I worked out with it on. I didn't quite do a spin class, but it still is on my face. 
when I tested out the Urban Decay All Nighter, it I took a spin class and was like dripping sweat. But I did blot my face because I was sweating, and yeah, so it looks pretty good. The lipstick, I was really impressed with lipstick. I haven't touched up my lips at all. All I did was apply a little bit of balm to rehydrate my lips after I checked in um, after lunch. This looks freaking awesome. The bronzer, I really love. I just feel like it didn't do it justice with the bronzer on camera. I love how it looks in person. I loved using it in my crease. It's super buttery, super soft, really nicely pigmented, but blendable. I feel like I need to use it with a different foundation where it doesn't accentuate my dryness on my cheeks, which I have a lot of. The Illuminating Multicolor Powder is a nice product. I like the highlight section more than I like the mauve blushes. So I would use it more as a highlight, but not necessarily as a blush. I was not a fan of the mascara. It didn't smudge or budge though. So if you like a drier formula mascara, you might like this. I like mine to be like not super dry, not super wet, just like right in that middle sweet spot. And I felt like this was a little bit on the drier side. So it wore well, just not enough for me in terms of volume or lengthening. I would say definitely check out the eyeshadow primer, definitely check out the bronzer, definitely check out the eyeliner. Hello, eyeliner, lipstick, and the eyeshadows are pretty. If you wanted something that I sh like I showed, then yes, you would be really happy with it. I feel like it's not quite as cheap as a lot of the drugstore eyeshadows you can find, but it's not as expensive as the higher end ones either, so it's a really good sweet spot in terms of the prices, and the pigmentation of these eyeshadows in this palette was really nice. So I do recommend it, and it's a really good everyday natural eyeshadow palette. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. You can also find me over on all of my social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I upload five new videos every week, every Sunday through Thursday, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already. And turn on that notification bell so that you know whenever a new video pops up. Also, I have a blog, which I've been doing a lot of new content on there, so it won't be just like the same thing you see over here on my channel. I've really been taking pride in like redesigning it and reworking out the kinks, making it really streamlined and easy for you guys to find things, as well as I'm going to have exclusive content for my newsletter subscribers and content creator tips for those who want to see it. And yeah. If anything, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me, which has been a lot lately. And if anything, I hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress from your night, and I hope to see you guys right back here. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye!